Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought that I would show you how I'm going to kit up Diamond Art Club's Nightbringer, which is my next project. And just chit chat a little bit. So if you've never seen me kit up a project before, then this might be new to you. I'm going to use a slightly different method because why not? Why not change it up a little bit every once in a while? Basically what I have here today are the colors that they gave me. I have my Craftmate lockable system. And normally what I would do is use these Avery multi-use labels. They're small little rectangular labels that I got from Walmart. Very cheap. I think they were maybe hmm, 80 cents or something. And um, so normally I would just write the number on the label and maybe the symbol as well and then stick them on. But with this particular project, I'm, I actually took the canvas and I put it down on the printer and I printed it out. Now it's not perfect or anything, but from a glance, I can easily tell what symbol I'm working on. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this and then I'm just gonna tape it down on the lid and that way I can just go whoop and then see that number DMC 141 is symbol one in the canvas. So I'll probably be looking at the canvas at the, at the symbol like the equal sign and then I'll be like equal sign like that. I've been doing that a lot more lately with my projects. I think I'm more of a, a visual person. So if I see the symbol, then I can match the symbol in my head. So um, another person that I know does this and I'm going to go ahead and get my scissors. I had them a second ago. Okay. So <laughs> like I was saying before I had to search the house for 10 minutes to find a pair of scissors. I, do you ever have that happen to you? When you are looking for something, it, it just disappears and it's gone, just gone, gone. So <laughs> ignore my husband. Um, right. What I was saying was there's somebody who does this as well. And that's Ramblin' Rose and Diamond Painting. She'll actually kit up the whole thing and then rearrange by symbol. So I would definitely recommend checking out her videos if you're like that. What do you like to do? Do you like to do it in color number or by symbol? I think the most popular way of doing it is by number because it's an easy system to remember, you know? Um, you just have to organize numerically, duh. But you, you do it um, from, you know, highest number or lowest number to highest number. Whereas with symbols, you may choose to do the alphabet and then keyboard symbols and then crazy symbols. So all I'm doing now is I've got the symbols and the DMC number. Now I always like to keep the DMC number on here because if I have more than one packet or say I have a big amount of one color, then I'll know exactly which DMC number to, to replace it with in the in the container that I'm using. There are lots of containers that you could use, so don't limit yourself, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do one of them, and then I'm gonna fast, well, no, I won't fast forward. We're gonna, we're gonna make this a kitten chat. Um, so I'll just explain the first one, and then I'll talk to you all about what's going on. Okay, so just regular scotch tape. That might even be a little too big. And all I want to do is cover the whole thing, the whole symbol. Now, I don't have a fancy sticker maker. And I have been watching these videos of um, YouTubers using this sticker maker. It looks like a little X. And you just feed you would just feed this through and then cut them and each individual one would be a sticker, which is amazing. Um, but again, Ireland and I don't want to get hit for customs on a $10 item or however much it is. I don't think it's that expensive, but the risk is too high. I did look on amazon.co.uk and see, oh yes, by the way, I, I just, sorry, I'll finish that thought. I did look on amazon.co.uk to see if they had it and I couldn't find it, but it might be out there. Who knows? 
Anyway, 310, I'm actually just not even going to bother because, <laughs> yeah, this is all my 310. This jar is huge, as you can see in my hands, and it's nearly full to the brim. Just, it's just shy, so just about the amount between my two fingernails there. So, yeah, this is all my 310. <laughs> for this painting um, and I decided to put it in a glass jar because I don't want to have to keep refilling this over and over and over and over again. So what I'm going to do first, I just go ahead and label everything first because I, I think that it's faster this way than stopping and filling with each individual bag, you know, because then it's just, it's just wasting time. Again, apologies for my husband. Ooh, and suddenly it's raining. Oh, and the windows in the car are down. Uh, it's just a shower, it's fine. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll just go ahead and do this to all of them now. First thing that I wanted to talk about was the response to the claws donations and DP-a-thon. So if I didn't say so before, which I think I think I did mention this before, but I'd want to, I want to go into further depth with it. I just want to thank everybody who participated in Done Paint-a-thon, and I had a blast. <laughs> I was sleep deprived, but I had a great time and I hope you did too. I really enjoyed raising all that money for claws and I'm going to go ahead and stick in my, the picture of my, my donation, you know, my payment to them from the pens and I've added a bit extra over what I collected for my own personal donation to them. So that's all together in the one in the one lump sum. I really appreciate those who did send money via PayPal. Um, they were able to track who that who they were, and um, so I know who who did a PayPal donation. Thank you very much. Um, it's very very nice to have such a lovely community doing. All these donations and helping these charities and I think that's what dp is really about for me. Now um, the other the other awesome part about dp was just having a group of people who were just hanging out for the day and chilling and we were all kind of well I wasn't but lots of people who were in the rooms were diamond painting in the background and just enjoying you know the chat um but a lot a lot of us probably weren't diamond painting at all <laughs> and i think it's so funny but again it's kind of like a retreat for people who don't have the money to go to a retreat i'd love to make a retreat i've never done that before so i wouldn't feel confident organizing something that big but if there is someone who's watching this who is really great at organizing and getting things together and all of that and you want to create a diamond painting retreat then please keep me in mind because I would love to come to it um, I'd love to be a part of it bring a few kids with me and just meet everybody in person. I think that would be amazing. But I had a really great time and I met some new creators like the Frozen Crafter and a few others. And um, what I have, I ha I've listened, uh, it was, I think it was Mrs. Coffee who suggested this the other day to create a playlist of all of the videos from Diamond Paintathon. Oh, it's raining much harder now. It must be a shower. 
I'm not running out there to close the window. I'll just bring a towel with me. Oh, um, sorry. So, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Making the suggestion of creating a playlist for all the videos. And so I've gone ahead and compiled a playlist that you can click on. I will put it in the cards up above. So now is the time to look up. <laughs> and if you'd like to go watch all of those videos in order, please feel free to click on. Hopefully I've managed to do it correctly because of course I have to do these things at work. <laughs> um, right, we're nearly, nearly done adding all these little symbols. See how like neat and tidy that is as well. So yes, oh, static. Oh, that's a lot of static. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm not gonna fight with you anymore. Um, what else was there? Oh yes, we are nearly at 2,000 subscribers. We're pretty close. We're still kind of far away, but we're pretty close. I'm confident I could reach 2,000 by the summer. Um, and so I just want to remind everybody that I will be having a 2,000 subscriber giveaway. Now, something that I'm really concerned about with YouTube is having a lot of um, what they call dead subscribers who, or ghost subscribers who don't actually interact with your channel. I kind of like my channel the way that it is. Um, and I have a lot of fun with everybody who comes over and, and watches my videos and comments and stuff. So yeah, I'm, I'm still thinking, I have, I have the prizes and everything ready. But what do you think I should do? Should I make a public video to, I don't know. I really don't know how I feel about, I don't wanna, I don't wanna look like I'm um, fishing for them. Does that make sense? Cause I'm not, I'm really not. But the faster that we do hit 2000, the sooner I can release the prizes. You know what I mean? And they're not for me, they're for you. So I don't know how we're going to do it, but we will get there. Eventually we'll get there. Um, oh yes, pens. So quick update about pens. Um, I ordered those crystal stylus pens. Hang on. So here's the crystal stylus pen. Um, I ordered more of these beautiful diamond painting pens from my Etsy shop back on the 12th of February. It's now the 6th of April. So I'm really upset with the seller. Um, they keep messaging, when they do message me, they keep blaming my post office and all these things. But the truth is they never gave me a working tracking number. So I did file a dispute. I'm waiting to hear back from AliExpress and I'm assuming that they're going to wait out the whole, you know, um, amount of time that's given for that package to arrive, which would be the 20th of April. So I have disputed it. It was it was a good chunk of money that I spent on these pens and I have been eagerly anticipating them since February, since before my birthday, come on. And um, even before Valentine's Day. But anyway, I digress. I have ordered more from a different store and I do have a working tracking number and they are on the way. So my stock, my Etsy shop stock will increase soon. I have these and others on the way and I am really happy to have the ability to make these pens and to give them to you. So I look forward to being able to, to offer more soon. And I do really love the look of these. 
Now I do, I will only have the color, same colors that I had before, um, with the exception of silver. Instead of silver, I've chosen white. So I hope you will enjoy them. The response from my <laughs> first diamond tube video was quite positive. Luna wants to say hi. And I want to say thank you very much for all of your kind words because even though I was a little bit hesitant to post that video, um, you know, privacy and everything, but at the end of the day, um, I am, hi Lena, hi. Go on, go on, shoo, go on. Go lay down. Um, at the end of the day, it's, it's just me and it is who I am. So if there are, you know, if there are people watching who do know me or don't like me <laughs> or something like that, you know, that's their problem and not mine. I don't think that I should hide my face anymore. It's, it's kind of silly at this stage. All of these beautiful people who are watching my videos these days are so lovely to me and, um, I'm just, I don't want to be afraid to, to just be real, you know? So there's that. And then what else was there? Diamond Art Club released another sneak peek for their new release sale, by the way. And this week's picture was another Mandy Manzano piece um, of Jessica Rabbit, which is so beautiful. Um, I know it's going to make a fantastic diamond painting. It's going to make a great diamond painting. Um, I don't think I'm going to get that one. I don't, I don't know if or which I would get. Um, so far from the ones that they've released, the one that I like the best is All Dogs Go to Heaven. But we shall see. We shall see um, if, if they do have one that comes out and catches my eye. Okay, now I've got all the lockables done up with labels. And so now it's just a matter of filling them. Now it's at this point where normally I would actually get some dryer sheets. Um, and I don't think I have any left. So we, we could have a static situation, but we'll see. Let's start with that 80 gem first. And you know what I might do? I might just bring you down to another angle so that you can see the beautiful colors that are in this painting. Okay, so the first color that I have is this gorgeous white iridescent diamond. I do really like this one. I think, I'm trying to remember on the picture where I think this is going to be, but it's probably only in just a few little spaces. And I do find that when they only have them dotted around the picture that it does make a more, just a bigger impact on the painting. And you would think that more is better, but in this case, less is much better. I think it, it is a little bit silly of me to use a craft mate system for this painting because the majority of it is black, but um, I think think that I've just gotten used to this so I really do appreciate the the locking mechanism and also the other with the other system that I have it's actually getting loose the locking part so I have to be really careful just trying to find this color while we're talking 322, here we go. 
Oh, and I see a hitchhiker in there. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure, no, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure that Diamond Art Club has started to use a different system for, for sending you drills. They're no longer going to be in these little packets that are going to be in a string. And I think that's a really good idea because I am tired of all this plastic. Those ones are a little bit staticky. They're clinging to the bag. Oops, and jumping out. But I love these beautiful colors. All of the blues, <laughs> all of them. There's another hitchhiker in this one, a little red one. So yesterday we celebrated my husband's birthday. We had a really good time. Went out to dinner, 597. And um, yeah, we had a really nice dinner. There's this restaurant here called The Point and it's right across from where we got married. Um, and there's kind of, you know, there's a bit of ocean. <laughs> We got married on an island here, and um, it was such a beautiful place. But the point is always a really special kind of place to go because we got, um, I don't know, we, we went out to dinner with my family there when they came over to visit, and we used to go there often with my father-in-law and just have really sweet, fond memories of that place. And also it's the only restaurant that I've ever been to where the owner actually runs the whole show. She take, she's the only person in the restaurant that takes orders. So you know that you, your order is forever remembered by her as well. It's, it's just so sweet. We're almost done, guys. It's like the fastest kidding up ever. <laughs> We're number 775. These are all just really nice blues and greens. That's going to be a really pretty color. This image really captured me when I saw it. I know it's going to make an amazing diamond painting. And I'm so excited to get started on it. And the reason why I'm doing this kit up video today is because, oh, I missed one. There's actually another one that belongs in there. Okay, I'll go back to that later. 797. The reason I'm doing this today is because I officially have given up on my Huacan custom of Luna. I will not be doing a post review, obviously, um, and I won't be, probably won't be mentioning it much. <clears throat> in the future because I'm just, I'm over it. I can't believe that it, it was so terrible for me and um, I'm sorry that I even bothered in that kind of way, you know? So I don't have high hope in the other customs that I ordered at the same time. I did order another square and they sent replacement squares for that painting as well but I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm just going to cut my losses because it would take more time for me to care, <laughs> to be honest, than it would for me to, um, to just reorder it or let it go. Maybe it's not meant to be. Who knows? Maybe, maybe one day I will just take a fancy to it and want to do it, but not at the moment. So it's my current feelings on that. There's only this much 939 in this painting, believe it or not. I'm ready for that 310 life. God, I hope this, I hope I can master this wheel tool. <laughs> if not, I'm screwed. 992, I have to do all the checkerboard patterns. There we go, 
beautiful minty green. 37.55. Spavy baby blue. Oh, I see a little bit of trash, but it's okay. Just a tiny bit. The little excess piece that you get on the the dust, as they would say in South Kerry. <laughs> Let me pop this little guy back in. And then we're down to our last three colors. I think what I might be doing here in the upcoming few days is I may be doing a beaded cross stitch whip and chat. 3760. And then obviously we will start Nightbringer together because I am excited for that. This is a very different piece of plastic. I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually square on the edges. It's not, it's not a rippable plastic packet. You don't need scissors for these most of the time, but you would have for that. And what else will I be doing? I have a few other things in the works, but I actually really just need to start writing down my ideas and the ideas that you give me, your suggestions, and then get an agenda. <laughs> and plan for these things. Um, I don't want my channel to get disorganized. So um, when other things in my life may seem a bit disorganized, this is one area where I do not want to fall behind on. So I will be doing that in the coming weeks. And if you've made it this far, um, I just want to let you know that I've only got a few more weeks left at my current workplace. And then I'm going to take sabbatical for two weeks before starting my next job. And I'm not sure if I will be posting or not during those two weeks because there's a lot of things I need to do around my house. So there might be some like real life vloggy stuff happening instead of diamond painting. So I hope you enjoy that. But I'm, I'm super excited because we really need to like paint the house and stuff. So here we go. Let's show you all the pretty colors. Let's see if I can do this without creating too much static now. A little bit, but there's always going to be a little bit of static with these containers. So I hope you can see all of those beautiful colors there all blues and white and you know that the ab beautiful ab and of course let's not forget the star of the show the super sparkly black so that is how i am kidding up my projects at the moment if you have any questions uh, or comments concerns or queries please put them down in the comment section below if you would like to see more of my videos, head on over to the playlist section and I've got all of them categorized for you just for easy watching. You might find something that you haven't seen before and um, yeah, I would definitely recommend you check that out. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe for more videos, of course, if you're not already subscribed and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.